questions surrounding mental health are coming from a lot of people in the Asian American and Pacific Islander community now that two Asian American men are suspected in California's most recent deadly mass shootings. Experts telling us today that it's a mental health gap that's long existed in the Asian culture. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Fox 40's Mason Morrow joining us now in studio. And Mason, you spoke with some clinicians today. What more can you tell us? Well, Nikki, so far there's no reported motives in either of the Monterey Park or Half Moon Bay shootings, but abrupt acts of such violence that we've seen here recently have many in the Asian American community wondering if enough is being done to address mental health struggles. Sudden shock and sorrow spread throughout the Asian American Pacific Islander community after two mass shootings in just the last four days in California. So there's a lot of unknowns, and I think I'm sitting with a lot of uncertainty. Um, as well as a lot of pain. Further trauma, clinical psychologist and author Dr. Jenny Wang tells Fox 40 already exists among Asian Americans, but is often neglected. It is seen as something that often is kind of silenced, dealt with privately. Dr. Wang says many first and second generation Asian Americans deal with anxiety and depression from their home countries, but tend to ignore the signs and don't seek help. There's a lot of fear about shame. There's a lot of fear surrounding kind of this idea that you would ruin the reputation of your family if you had mental health difficulties. This is nothing to be shameful about. Dr. Lakshmi Malrutu of Asian Pacific Community Counseling treats, educates, and reaches out to Asian Americans in Sacramento County who are afraid to or don't know how to get mental health help. It's important that we do not overlook this group or these communities to break the stigma and to end the suffering before it's too late. It's also APCC's initiative to advocate for more mental health funding and resources so those struggling can find the help that they need. If you're a member of the Asian Pacific community suffering in silence, you can reach out to APCC for an initial evaluation. Just visit their website at apccounseling.com.